Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, Don C. Weber uh, back again at the Sands ICS Summit here in Orlando. This time I'm being joined by Nick Erlob and Adam Hahn, and uh, they're, they're both with uh, MITRE. Uh, they gave, actually, have you given your talk already? Or? Yeah. Okay, so they gave, gave a talk earlier today that was recorded, and uh, the title of it, Success, Success Starts with Failure, Mitigating OT Security Risks Using Threat-Informed Failure Scenarios. So uh, you know, I really like the title, Success Starts with Failure, because I've had to deal with that with a, a lot of my uh, security research. But uh, please, can, can you let everybody know what your topic's about? And uh, Yeah, sure. So, you know, as the name just starts with failure kind of implies, we're, we're kind of identifying a methodology here, starting with actual failures of your OP systems and using that to drive your analysis. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we start, you know, the failure side to help kind of narrow down how you're looking at your, your systems. Because if you start with just, you know, a broad swath of every possible fail, you know, issue that could happen in your you know, structure, it's just, you know, really difficult to get a handle on that. So if you start with, you know, what failures are you actually concerned with, it gives you a much you know, easier way to start your analysis. So are you talking about doing use cases around failures? Uh, are you actually talking about um, taking uh, um, your incident uh, reports uh, from when a failure happened, both? Yeah, I mean, both. I mean, it, you know, there's a whole host of different ways you can kind of approach this. A lot of it depends on, you know, what you're actually concerned with. When we were looking at this, we're kind of starting with the attack for ICS impact category. So whether that's, yeah, loss of safety or loss of intellectual property, you know, kind of the question is always kind of what you're actually concerned with as an organization that can be different for different organizations, right? Okay, so is this kind of uh, um, consequence like uh, analysis? Yeah, or? there's a lot, of, a lot of parallels we can draw between some like you know, INL, CCE, um, or some of the other uh, you know, methodologies kind of that take that um, consequence based approach. Okay, uh, Adam, do you want to add anything? Yeah, and, and one of the uses of this is, you know, we're looking at, you know, we do a lot of work on the attack for ICS side, modeling known, known adversary tactics and techniques we've seen across the ICS sector. Um, and, and really it's to help organizations, as Nick mentioned, understand like what operational failures they have, and then how can they learn from the tactics and techniques adversaries use, model those against their unique operational processes or, or technologies and architectures, and then use that to you know, try to understand you know, how do we, how would we defend against these? How would we respond to these? You know, how would we these improve our security operations so they can, you know, understand, you know, we've already done like mappings between attack techniques and, and mitigations we've identified on there. Um, so the idea of this is, you know, by starting with the understanding your operational failures, modeling the attack techniques tailored to your architecture that could cause those, and then looking at what the mitigations are, you know, organizations can, can you know, helping, helping them, you know, better use what mitigation information we have up there and helping them, you know, provide confidence that they're addressing the the tactics we've seen other adversaries. So it's kind of like the playbook example uh, scenarios that they can leverage to build their own. Yeah, really, really, just an exa a way that they can start modeling those scenarios for their own playbooks, right? And then and then they can use those across a number of things. They can use those to run tabletops. They can use those to to inform more of some of their security uh, you know, security operations. You know, how, the, how are they going to respond to those? What kind of analytics are they going to look for? You know, so there's a broad set of use cases, but, you know, really by understanding really down to the adversary tech, tech technique level, you know, better, better uh, having more awareness of how they might target it, you know, can really more broadly inform different, a number of different defensive, you know, uh, processes and, and technologies that are adopting. Okay. So, I mean, and, and that sounds like the takeaways from it. So, um, uh, who, uh, what kind of audience are you looking for? I mean, is, is this something that is more for leadership or is it something that's more for uh, kind of tactical uh, um, engineers and operators and uh, field technicians? Yeah, and I think, uh, I think this is broad. I mean, I think, you know, from a, from a leadership perspective, you know, understanding, you know, these understanding this and you can, you know, with, with what we have an attack for ISIS are known attacks, right? These things have happened. So, you know, if you're trying to, you know, advocate for, money or something like that usually saying hey this is stuff that we know that similar organizations or similar techniques you know that provides more credibility that that's a, a you know investment that you need to make right and so um you know where so high level understanding you know we need to do invest in security i think so you know you can do understand these scenarios at a higher level to say you know these are similar to our environment you know this could happen to our environment we need to invest okay. uh if you want to maybe i decide maybe much more technically what mitigations you're going to deploy uh you then maybe 
you know, you need to model something in a lot more detail down to really specific technologies and, and down to the really adversary procedures that might exploit those. Because, you know, really you want to make sure that that technology is really tuned and, and tailored to that technique. And so, uh, you know, the degree that which you, you model tactics and attack scenarios is important based for the use case. Okay, excellent. Uh, Nick, is there anything else you wanted to add before? No, I think it's pretty well captured there. I mean, again, you know, kind of who it's for, I think, you know, the actual methodology is probably someone who's, you know, on the more technical side, but, you know, the outputs out of the approach is something that can be consumed by a, a number of different levels. So. Excellent. Uh, well, so, you know, uh, definitely this is, uh, uh, they've already recorded the talk. It's going to be out there uh, on the SANS ICS YouTube channel. Well, where can people kind of get more information about uh, what y'all are talking about? Maybe uh, uh, reach out to you if they're interested. Yeah, so, I mean, you can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter, if okay. under my name is probably the easiest way. Um, and, uh... Yeah, I guess LinkedIn, I think we have our email addresses in the, in the, in the talk. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, put those in there. Those are the best way. Right? Excellent. Yeah, and uh, definitely uh, uh, their 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 names are up on the um, uh, the ICS Summit site, so you can see it there. But uh, watch out for their talk uh, on the Sands ICS YouTube channel. I really appreciate both of you taking a few moments to uh, kind of uh, uh, let us know what's going on and what you talked about today. So Thanks. have a great day. Yeah, and you too.